In this tutorial we are going to simulate navigating a robot to the objects detected with YOLO. This is the robot. It is a usual differential drive mobile base. This robot has a LiDAR. And a real sense camera. The camera can be rotated 180 degrees left and right using the slider in the GUI. On the right side of the GUI window, the camera image with recognition result is shown. And on the left window, position of each detected object is shown on the map. The red pentagon is the robot and green circles are the objects. As we click the navigate to the nearest object button, the robot moves towards the nearest object detected with YOLO. Note, that the robot will not move exactly to the object position, but will stop a little ahead of it, so that collision will not happen. After reaching the goal, we can rotate the camera and find the next object to navigate to. Now let's see what theory stands behind this task. In this section we will learn how to calculate target coordinates on a map using a camera mounted on the robot. This procedure involves three steps. The first step is to calculate object coordinates in the camera coordinate system. In this step we will use perspective projection transformation technique. The second step is to calculate object coordinates in the robot coordinate system. This is the easiest part because the only information we should know is the camera rotation angle. And the last step is to calculate object coordinates in the map coordinate system. Here AMCL is used to find robot position in the map. Then several transformation techniques are used to calculate object coordinates in the map coordinate system. Let's see how to determine coordinates of a point in the image from a scene. To solve this problem, perspective projection transformation is used. To fully understand the mechanics of perspective projection transformation, we need to study optics. In this tutorial, we will not go deep into the theory of optics. A very simple model will be used to understand the basics of perspective projection transformation. Let's imagine that we have a dot in the coordinate system. Here some assumptions are made. The center of the projection coincides with the origin of the world. The camera axis is aligned with the world's z-axis. To simplify the derivation of the perspective projection equations, we assume that the image plane is in front of the center of projection. We need to find the coordinate of the point projected on the image plane. Using the triangle similarity rule, xi and yi can easily be calculated. In the previous step, point coordinate in the camera's image system was calculated. Now we need to convert it to the image coordinate system used in image processing. We do this by moving the origin from the center to the left upper side of the image. We have derived the formula to calculate point coordinates projected to image in the camera. If we transform the above equation, x's and y's are described as in equation 1. z can be obtained using a depth camera. From the recognition result, coordinates of the center point of the object can be calculated. From the depth camera image, the depth value of the pixel with the center point coordinates is obtained. This depth value is the z value we needed. By substituting the z value to equation 1, xs and ys coordinates can be obtained. In this part we will talk about how to convert camera coordinates to robot coordinates. This is pretty straightforward. As I have shown in the introduction, the camera is operated using a slide bar in the GUI. So, 
we know the angle of rotation theta. Knowing this angle, we can do coordinate transformation. Also, the y-axis should be reversed to match the robot coordinate system. Note that ZC axis of the camera coordinate axis will become XR axis of the robot coordinate system, and the XR axis of camera coordinate system will become the YR axis of the robot coordinate system. Also, here we assume that camera angle is the same with target value of the GUI, but in the real robot reading values from the servo could be a better practice. In this part we will calculate coordinates of an object in the map coordinate system. To do this we should know robot orientation and position. So, how to get the robot's position and orientation? We will use AMCL, which stands for Adaptive Monte Carlo Localization. This algorithm is provided by default with the ROS navigation package. This algorithm uses a particle filter to track pose of a robot against a known map. In this section we will see what particle filter is. Theoretically particle filter is quite complicated so we will briefly review key points regarding particle filter. Particle filter uses a set of weighted particles to approximate position and orientation of the robot. Firstly, initialization is done. Since we don't know the robot's original position, particles are scattered uniformly all over the map. Calculation of the robot's position consists of three steps. Prediction, update and resample. During the prediction step, we assume where the robot could be, using motion model. At the update step we calculate each particle's weight considering obtained sensor values. In the resample state a new set of particles is generated. High probability region has a high density of particles but low probability regions also have some number of particles which gives this method robustness. In ROS, position and orientation of robots can be obtained using the AMCL pose topic. Note that orientation is outputted in form of quaternion. So, we will convert quaternion to Euler angles to calculate target position in the map. Let's see what a quaternion is. Quaternions are often used for calculations involving three-dimensional rotations. Quaternions are generally represented in this form. Here Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3 are real numbers, and I, J, and K are basic quaternions. Quaternion can be visualized as a red arrow which rotates green vector along direction vector. Now about quaternion multiplication. Let's assume that we have two quaternions, P and Q. The product will look like equation 3. We will not derive this equation here, but it can be derived using several rules for imaginary numbers. The product also can be expressed in matrix form. Here we will talk about converting quaternions to Euler angles. Rotation matrix around each axis and product of these matrices will look like this. If we rotate a vector P using a quaternion Q, a rotation matrix C will be expressed as below. Using these two matrices we can calculate alpha, beta, and gamma. For example, a tangent alpha can be expressed as ratio of sine alpha cosine beta to cosine alpha cosine beta. By comparing these values with rotation matrix C, we can express tangent alpha using a quaternion. The same way angle beta and angle gamma can be expressed using quaternions. Note that in the program, we should use a tan2 function to calculate target position correctly. Now let's see the program. In the main function we are creating subscribers to AMCL pose, color image and depth image topics. In the get robot pose function we obtain XY position and orientation of the robot in the map coordinates. In this function RAW's color image message is converted to OpenCV image of the BGR format. In this function depth image message is converted to open CV image of the 16UC1 format. 
In init function of GUI class we define directory to read map image and yum file. Yum file is required to get resolution and origin coordinates of the map. Here we set initial value of the slide bar which controls the camera. We also define publisher here. Here, initialization for YOLO is done. This part is the same as the usual YOLO v5 program. In this part we define the publisher to publish goal position to which the robot will navigate. In the repaint function we draw the map, the robot, and the target points. Here we draw the robot as a pentagon. Here we draw the target points as a green circle. In the update function, we calculate robot and target positions in the map. Here yaw angle of the robot is computed using a quaternion. In this part target position is converted to robot coordinates. And in this part target position is converted to map coordinates. In the navigate function, target position to which the robot should move is calculated and published. Firstly, we are going to install navigation stack. Also, we need to install LibRealSense. But before installing LibRealSense, install these packages. Now git clone the LibRealSense repository. Move to the LibRealSense directory. Create build directory and move there. Execute cmake command. Now execute make command. Execute sudo make install. Download the zip file from the Google Drive. Move all models in the models folder to the gazebo models directory. Create a new workspace. Move source and UI folders there and build the workspace. Open three terminals. Firstly, launch Gazebo. Secondly, launch navigation related packages. Thirdly, move to the UI folder and execute controller python script. Now you can do the simulation.